Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss back again with another video and today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the brand new Blackberry Key 1 Now it's been a long time since y'all seen a Blackberry on my channel A lot of people think Blackberry is finished, but in my book you're only as good as your last product So who knows this might be Blackberry's big return Now y'all know I hate talking about specs but since this is an unboxing video, let's go over the main specs that you need to know, starting with my most important spec on any phone, the price. Now you can buy this phone unlocked for 550 bucks. Now, you're not getting top of the line specs, but shout out to Blackberry for not charging top of the line prices. HTC, pay attention. Now this phone is GSM and CDMA capable, so that means it's gonna work on Sprint, Verizon, T-Mobile, and AT&T. Now for the display, you got a 4.5 inch IPS LCD panel with a resolution of 1080 by 1620. Now that's 433 for the PPI Patrol. You also get Corning Gorilla Glass 4. Now the processor is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 625 chipset with the Adreno 506 GPU. Mid-range specs. The phone is running Android 7.1 Nugget, shout out to the Nugget boys, fresh out of the box. Now you get 32 gigs of onboard storage with three gigs of RAM. Now you also have a micro SD card slot for expandable memory up to 256 gigs. Now in the back, you got a 12 megapixel camera, that's f2.0, and you can shoot 4K video. No optical image stabilization. On the front, you got an eight megapixel camera, that's f2.2, and you can shoot 1080p video. Now for the battery, you got a non-removable 3,505 milliamp battery that features quick charge. Now BlackBerry claims you could charge your phone to 50% in 30 minutes. Now you also get a fingerprint sensor, USB type C, a headphone jack, gotta mention that these days, and the most important feature about this phone, the keyboard. That's probably why you're buying it. All right, so let's check this out. Shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. BlackBerry Key One. Beautiful presentation. Now, if you ever had a BlackBerry, you already know what to expect. Heavy duty quality. Same specs. Let's check this out. BlackBerry Key One. Now, this is definitely gonna be your business phone. Woo! Now, this is my first time seeing this in person. The weight on this. Hold up, let me take the stick off. This is what I'm talking about. Now, this is what you know and love about BlackBerry, that build quality feels like a brick. Now, I'll tell y'all a quick story. I was in USA Diner back in the days and I got into an argument with this chick and she had the BlackBerry with the wheel on it and she threw it at me, almost got a concussion. Same thing with this phone, heavy duty build quality. Let's see what else you get inside. Okay, this should be your usual books and shit, why not? Pluck them, file them to the side. Here's your SIM ejection tool. You're gonna need that. Look at this presentation. 550 bucks. Now check this out. You get a set of headphones. I right, shout out to Blackberry, they doing it right. No matter what the price is, this should be a standard accessory. Frustration level, all right. <laughs> this should be a standard accessory on any phone. Headphones, Blackberry insignia. Nice weight to these. Zerks, don't eat these. Let's see, you got inline controls. Okay. And a gold tip. Back up, Zerks. What else? Here's your USB Type-C cable. Let's see how thick this is. Nice and thick. Giggity. And here's your power brick. Quick charge capable. And another nice touch, different size mm -hmm. ear tips. Everybody got different size ears, throw in the different size ear tips. All right, that's pretty much it. Back up. Now let's take a look at the actual device. Like I said, fresh out of the box, you're gonna love the feel of this. I might as well say it, why not? Feels good in the hands, ladies. Hit me on BBM. On the back of the phone, you got this rubber texture and it definitely gives you that grippy feel. Feels solid. There's your classic BlackBerry logo. I haven't even seen one of these in a while. There's your camera, dual tone LED flash. I'll take that stick off in a second. On one side, here's your SIM tray. Now this doubles as your micro SD card slot. Here's your volume up and down. Nice clicks on those. Here's your convenience key. 
Now that's a typical BlackBerry feature. You can set this convenience key to whatever you want. Now Samsung, pay attention. You see the Bixby button? Should have been like this. You can have it on Bixby or have it whatever way you want. BlackBerry did it right. On the other side, here's your power button. On the top, there's your mic, there's your headphone jack. Very important these days. On the bottom, now you got dual speaker grills, but you're only getting one speaker. So you got a speaker, there's your mic, USB type C. Eight megapixel camera in the front. Did you, uh, your, your headpiece, your headpiece. What do you call this? <laughs> Zerks, you're killing me. Y'all know what this is, <laughs> whatever. You got your RGB notification light and your ambient light sensor. Airpiece, all right, airpiece, that's the word I was looking for. On the front, you got your touch capacitive buttons, back, home, and your recently used apps, and your fingerprint sensor is built into the home button. All right, so let's see if we got any juice on this one. Power this up. That keyboard, <laughs> look at the flop. That keyboard feels so reminiscent of the old school Blackberries. I already know I'm gonna love this phone because y'all remember, I just did a video for the Samsung keyboard case it's a big difference. All right, it's a big difference on this. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, let me put my information in the phone, we'll set this up, and then we'll breeze through the OS. And I'll play with Xerxes for a minute so I can get out of our head. Talk amongst yourself. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I just put my information in the phone, I've been playing around with it for a few minutes, and I gotta tell y'all, this is a major go. I am definitely feeling this phone. 550 bucks worth every penny this is going to be my new business phone now part of the reason is because of nostalgic purposes you just feel like a boss when you got a blackberry but the main thing you're going to love about this phone is the keyboard the keyboard on this phone is everything now i've only been typing with it for about 10 minutes but i'm already getting my rhythm back if you had a blackberry in the past you know about this keyboard you can basically type without looking once you get the hang of it I'm already getting my BlackBerry thumbs back together. The keyboard is amazing. Now, if you try to compare it to this keyboard case that I had for the S8, don't. All right, this one doesn't even light up. This one has a nice light to it. The buttons clicks just feel so dope. You can shoot off a two, three paragraph email in under a minute, easily. Now, once I get the hang of this, I'll be typing crazy. Now, I'll show you something about this phone that I like. Also, you can use the keyboard and the on-screen keys together. All right, so let's uh, take a look at some of the features first. Fingerprint sensor. Super fast, you don't have to press the home button, all you have to do is rest your finger on it. Look how fast this is. This is definitely in the top five uh, fingerprint sensor speeds. Now here's another cool little feature. When you plug in the charger, check this out. You get options, so charge only or boost mode, and you get that little line. So as it charges up, the line is gonna go all the way up to the side, it's gonna turn a different color, and it'll be full. Now you get that same thing when the screen is off. You get that little yellow line. Right now my battery's on 37. As it goes up, the color will change all the way to the top. So that's a nice little cool visual feature. Back to that fingerprint sensor. You see how fast that is? Now look, just so you can see, I'm gonna use a different finger. Nothing. Now, the thumb. Just one little slight touch. Oh, I might, I might have put in too many wrong. <laughs> hold up, I might have put in too many wrong. All right, hold up, let's try that again. Might have put in too many wrong inputs. One little slight touch on the fingerprint sensor pops right open. Fingerprint sensor on the front of the phone where it belongs. Next, build quality. This thing is a certified tank. This is a lethal weapon. All right, you wrap this up in a sock and you hit somebody with it, it's over for them. It just feels so good in the hands, and if you're buying this for a business phone, you don't want your business phone to feel like some cheap plastic garbage. You want it to feel heavy duty, you want it to be your workhorse, and this is a workhorse build. Now let's go Let's go through some of the features real quick. Matter of fact, let's take it to the settings. All right, now here's the thing. This phone does have NFC, because I use tap-in uh, pair to switch my information over, so you do have your Android Pay. Now, when you go to the settings, settings are a little bit light. Now, there's some things that I don't like about this phone already, such as the display is not that bright. Now, I got this on maximum brightness, and it's still not that bright. So, I'll take it outside tomorrow in the daytime, but I'm pretty sure the, the sunny days, the sunlight, <laughs> the sunlight viewing angles ain't going to be that great. I'm pretty sure if I got it on max right now and it's still dull, 
outside is gonna, is gonna be guaranteed to be dull. But I gotta do a full review. Y'all know I use this for a full week and we'll see. But so far I don't like that already. Let's see, let's go through some of these settings. So now if you go to more. Okay, so you got NFC. All right, so you got your Android Beam and you got your Android Pay. Let's see anything else. Okay, uh, brightness, notification, basically your standard stuff. Let's go to gestures. Now you do have one gesture. You got your World Star Hip Hop button. All right, so let's turn the phone off. Now, when you wanna turn your camera on, just hit the power button twice. Look how fast that brings you up to your camera. Now, in the hood, we call that the World Star Hip Hop button. You're not gonna miss any slaps. Let's go back to settings real quick. Now, that's the thing. Now, under gestures, that's the only gesture. All right, so this is not the gimmicky Galaxy <laughs> Galaxy gesture packed phones, just one gesture. But you do got some more stuff. So now you got your convenience key. Now you could set that to whatever you want. Now what I set it to is the flashlight. My bad, I accidentally unassigned it. Now I got the convenience key, set the flashlight. So one tap, turns it on. One tap, turns it off. Now this is a hot feature for me. I'm a nighttime savage, so I need quick access to my flashlight. I jump in the car, drop my contraband. One button, activate your flashlight. One button, deactivate. Now you can set that for whatever you want. Now the only downside to that is it doesn't work when the display is off. So you're gonna have to activate your phone, then hit the convenience key to use your features. Let's see anything else we need to cover in the settings. That's pretty much it. Now you do have some more settings. We'll talk about those in a second, but check this out. This keyboard is actually reminiscent of the trackpad. Y'all remember the Blackberries had the little trackpad? Now the whole keyboard is like a trackpad. Now you can scroll up and down also. Once you get the hang of using that while you typing and scrolling, this is so hot. Now here's your on-screen buttons. So you got your recently used apps. If you hold it down, you do have your Android split screen. So let's go to YouTube, we hit Android split screen, and we could go to internet. So you got your multitasking, it does resize. Pretty good. Now, if you, want, if you know one thing about Blackberries, you know about the speaker, and this one is the same. Let me play some music for y'all real quick. Check this out. Let me make sure this is max volume. Now you got that 4.5 inch display. Sounds small compared to, the, to today's phones, but it doesn't look small at all. Nice clear video. The sound is loud on this though. All right, you're gonna like the sound on this. Let me pause this. Now another thing that I like about this phone, the earpiece speaker, that is also loud. Now if you're using this for your business phone, you wanna make sure you're receiving those emails. Now I got it turned down for the video, I'll just turn it back up just in case I get a quick alert, y'all will hear it. But the sound on this speaker, the bottom speaker is loud, and the earpiece, your notifications, nice and loud. So I'm using this as my business phone. When I'm getting emails, I don't wanna miss those. You're not gonna miss them with these. And you also got your RGB notification light, which is fully customizable. Let's see anything else. Let's take a look at the camera real quick. Let's see something we could take a picture of. Now let's do the World Star Hip Hop button, two clicks right to your camera. We'll skip the intro. Let's do a quick point and shoot. Okay, you hear how loud that is? Now let's review the photo. Nice detail. Now I'm sitting under these bright LED lights so any camera is gonna look nice. When I do the full review, I'll let y'all know how the camera looks, but so far, this camera does look pretty good. Let's go to the settings real quick. You got photo, panor, y'all hear that? The whole phone vibrated. This is nice and loud. All right, so you got your panoramic shots. You got your video, slow motion. You got all your Instagram filters. All right, let's take it to the settings real quick. Let's see, uh, blah, 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 anything. Videos. Okay, all the way up to 4K, 30 frames per second. Now you got enhanced video stabilization. All right, so that's a little bit different from optical image stabilization, but we'll turn that on and we'll play with it when we do some videos. Now you can mute the sounds. All right, you need that for your clandestine photos in the gym, fellas, you know what I'm talking about. And you can change the volume key to capture or whatever you want. 
So that's pretty good. Now let me show you something about this keyboard. My bad, I didn't want to put anybody's information on blast. Now before we get out of here, let's talk about one more thing, the most important part about this phone, the best feature of this phone, and probably the reason why you're buying this phone, the keyboard. This is the best keyboard that I've used yet on any phone, and this is the hottest feature of this phone. Now check this out. When you go to any typing screen, you're gonna get access to both keyboards. So you got your on-screen keyboard and your physical keyboard, and you can use them simultaneously. Now that's a hot feature. Say you haven't used the BlackBerry keyboard in a long time, and maybe you're typing too slow, you get to a red light and you wanna shoot off a quick text message. Now you can use your on-screen keys that you're familiar with, you've been using these for years, and when you get back into your office, you can start practicing again on your BlackBerry keyboard. But trust me when I tell you, when you get the hang of typing on this keyboard, you're gonna love it, and it's the best experience yet. Now the keyboard does have some shortcuts. Right now I got a few set, so say right now I hit the letter T, it's automatically gonna bring me up to a text message so I can text the trap. Now you can set up all the different shortcuts, as many as you want. Like I said, fresh out of the box, on a scale of one to 10, this phone is a major go. 550 bucks, the price is right. The build quality is right. The camera looks good so far. The speaker is nice and loud. The notification speaker, super loud. You got your RGB notification light. This is an all around go. Now you got a big beast battery on this. And when I, now keep in mind, you don't got the 4K display. You don't have a whole bunch of features and options. So this battery should last you all day but I'll put it to the test. Now hit me up in the comments and let me know if there's anything specific y'all want me to do in the real review, but y'all already know I'm testing everything. Now there's a few things I don't like. I already got a list. No wireless charge, I missed that already. A few things, phone is not waterproof. A few couple of, few couple of gripes here and there, but not too much so far, not too much. And keep in mind for 550 bucks, we're not gonna complain as much as we would complain for a phone that costs almost a thousand bucks. Anyway, that's the BlackBerry Key one. Like I said, I'll do a full review in about a week. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all want to see. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Foxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, Stream Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready, no meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock, one to beam up. Energize. Thank <laughs> you.